Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing this super quick install. I mean, super quick. I think this install probably took me like 30 minutes, but I'm gonna squeeze it down to a good 10 for y'all because it was really quick and easy and it came out so beautiful. I mean, my hair looks so good. I know when I come on here saying I look good, like that means, yeah. Let's get into this hair simply by Hermosa Hair. Um, here it is. This is a deep wave. I love deep wave like this. This is my favorite type of deep wave. When I get this hair in the mail, you know, some people's deep wave don't really mean this. This is a good old fashioned deep wave. I'm really enjoying this unit. If you guys want to see me install and get my thoughts on it, go ahead and keep watching. All I gotta say is, and you already know who it is. This install gonna go real fast, so you know, hang on to your seat because we're gonna breeze through it. I showed you guys the gap construction on the inside. It's a bit of a U shape, but it is a decent amount of space on the sides. Enough for me to get a nice deep uh, side part if I wanted. I went ahead and unbraided the back because I do separate the back from the front because I do pluck the frontal. So, you know, the hair don't all get too frizzy for me combing through. But the curls was looking very juicy. I just have a little bit of some Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner. I'll go ahead and link that down below if you guys are interested in buying some of your own. I use it on my real hair and my wigs, the curly units, and I love that leave-in. Now I'm filling for my ear tabs, making a, a S shape, kind of, sort of. And I'm going to use some a clip to clip down the hair and get it out of my face. And use some scissors to snip snip and get it to where I can see. And where I can't see it, I'm going to be using an eyebrow razor for the back so I don't cut any excess hairs that really don't need to be cut. So once I do that, I'm going to pull my ear on out and boom, now I've got our ear tabs cut. So now I'm going to be adding two slits to go ahead and separate the wig so that I can push it to the back. Once I push it to the back, I'm going to be using my even spray, the active one. I'm going to spray two good layers on it, but now first I have to get my first layer down and dry. Not tacky, but dry. And at this point I know where my hairline is going to be, but I am going to be doing an updated like, beginner friendly tutorial. So please be on the lookout for that. Like I'm very excited about doing that because I've learned a lot more tips in this time. And like every time I do an install, I just get better and better. So here's this one. I'm getting my first layer down and dry. And then I'll go in with that second layer. Get on all sides. Get it where I need it to be. Spray that down. Blow dry it till it's tacky this time. And then I'm going to use the whole unit. You know, why not? You know, like I said, the wig was so secure, so snug. I knew this was going to be a quick, easy, seamless install because the wig fit my head so well. So once I put the wig in its place and it, the, the, the spray is tacky at this point, I'm going to use a comb to press the lace into the spray. And once that's, you know, pretty in it, it's sticking to it, it's laying how it needs to lay, I'm going to grab my elastic band and secure the unit. And it was super quick to do my install like this. It was all secured really fast, so I was pleased with that. Now I'm using my rat tail comb, and I got to do this middle part. And I saved y'all a lot of time not watching me do this middle part over and over again because, of course, I have to touch it up. I am a Virgo, and it needs to be perfect. Once I get my middle part rocking, using my hot comb, I will link for this down below as well. Use my hot comb, and I'm going to mark out that middle part so it stays. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect the first time. Uh, my knots are a little bit over bleached a little bit, so I am going to be using a little bit of this Great Lash by Maybelline on the root. Quick, easy fix. I don't like all that spray. The spray, the it's too much. It's too much for me. Mascara gets it done just right, and it rinses on out. So, yeah, quick, easy fix. And my hair was looking like my hair at this point. I was like, let's fucking get it. Like, my hair is looking real good. So, real, real quick hot comb to make the hairs go where they need to lay. And there's a little quick close-up because the hair was looking really good. Using my eyebrow razor once again, using a zigzag motion to make sure the lace is as seamless as possible spraying some spray on the back of my little spatula and applying it like that and i'm using a finger to just make sure it's dry and pushing the lace into the spray once again instead of a comb i like that method a lot better and that's just one of the many tips that i've learned um instead of using a comb so yeah razoring off the sides you know same same steps and my hair is looking like my hair if there's any parts that are lifting go ahead and spray some spray and lift that on up get it underneath touch it down 
and touch up the other parts like you should and now you know it's good and late as it needs to be and it's really looking like my hair do y'all see this looking like my hair i had to get in here close in y'all's face to show y'all how good it's looking like my hair i love when the hairlines look realistic like this it's my favorite type of thing big fan of this mousse it'll be a link down for it below i'm using this to touch up the parts that got a little frizzy that don't have as much leave-in anymore because i did comb through it when i was plucking the unit using a little bit of that to just smooth it out and this this mousse y'all it has such a nice shine and a light a very light hold not too crispy crunchy but just enough to where the curls stay defined and it dries you know pretty quickly it does the job for me after that, it's all nice and secured. I'm taking off this elastic band and my hair again. Like, I don't need baby hairs, but one thing about me, baby hairs is going to get dead. So let's go ahead and pull them out. I'm going to use my rat tail comb and use a C-shape along the corner of my hairline where I like the baby hairs to go. Grab that hair, use a hot comb, get them out the way, section off the front to the back and the sides to the sides and get it nice and prep ready to lay i'm gonna go ahead and raise them off at a jagged edge because i don't like the baby hair straight y'all know me hate that can't stand it gonna get the straggly hairs that were too long that i missed out on cut those too get my sideburn out of course gotta have the sideburns because you know my baby hairs just have to be present and they have to be big and adult like as well because that's how i like them raise that off no straight edges no straight edges no straight edges get your little baby baby flat arm um i got a link for this down below i got a link for everything if you ever like dang i really wonder what products you're using it's a link it's it's listed down below if it's not a link it's down below i promise go ahead and check that description box now i'm using a brush a brush instead of the comb on the edge brush has really changed up my edge game made it a lot easier i don't know why i was so focused on using the comb edge booster That'll be what I'll be using for the t the base of the edges and give it a little swoopy swoop. And this time I'm going to put my edges into the hairline. Sometimes I like them to be their own little entity, but let's go ahead and merge the two. Let's blend them. I'm liking the way that's looking right now. I'm going to use a hot comb to just put that in place, make sure everything's where it's need to go, and make sure everything's blended and sticking down. So we got that front piece still out there. I'm using this comb to just see if it's how, how long the hairs are, if I need to trim them up a little bit, if I need to, you know, do anything. I'm just seeing, feeling for it, adding a little bit of edge booster, and then using the brush to brush it down and get it how I want it in. It was looking very good. So I went ahead and did my other side off camera, and that's what that was looking like big fan of what the baby hairs is doing this day a little bit more mousse just to touch up you know me very perfectionist like but all in all this is a very quick install like we're about to wrap it up here soon i'm really enjoying how the curls are looking how natural the lace is looking a few little minuscule touch-ups like brushing the edges getting the hot comb fixing the middle part a little more mousse on certain areas a little bit of concealer on the part and what else did i do I added just a little bit more mousse, like I said. So just a little bit more more mousse to the top to get it all flat. Add it through on the lips. Gotta get the lips on. Gotta do the brown liner. Gotta do the nude pink gloss. And once I blend that together, gotta feel myself a little bit. Gotta 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 look at myself in the in the camera and see how I'm looking. Tuck the hair behind the ear and get a feel for everything. You know, show y'all the length. This is how long the hair is, and all the information on the hair will be linked down below. Go ahead and check that out. I changed my shirt so you guys could see, you know, the hair and all its glory. The black shirt was kind of throwing it off, but I really was in love with this unit. It's going to be really hard for y'all to get this up off me. Y'all love buying my wigs off me. Maybe this one got to stay with me because the curls were so juicy. So the hair was so soft, like a really huge fan of this unit. Got to come in and talk to you guys about it now. So that's the video. I went ahead and changed my shirt like I like y'all saw because y'all, I don't think y'all could see the contrast from the hair to the shirt so i've changed to a real bright shirt so you can definitely see the contrast because the curls is curling and this is the hair pretty much dry like the the mousse parts are are kind of damp but they're not wet like this isn't wet by no means like this this is the hair fully dry in all its glory i'm eating it up i'm eating it all the way up i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um this technique was a lot faster than my usual one so hope you guys enjoyed that um i have a lot more content coming i'm very excited for all things i planned so thank you for watching it's been very real i'm gonna see my next one bye beautiful